Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. Uh, now today is going to be a quick look at a basic unregulated power supply for our, in this case, for our uh, AI map. I'll stick it on the screen. MX50. Now we looked at this uh, last week um, and we could see that if we run at 25 volts on it, then we would uh, we'd be alright for the quiescent current. Else if we went up like 31 volts, it started just climbing, climbing, climbing. It was gonna basically turn class A and possibly, you know, just end up breaking. It wouldn't be any good at all. But at 25 volts we seem to be okay. So we're gonna build ourselves a power a power supply in theory. And uh, using these components, and I'll show you one that I've already built. But I think the main question is going to be for a lot of people is how would you know then what transformer you need for your power supply? So we said that this would be running at zero, uh, 25 volts positive, zero, and 25 volts negative. So we've got that sort of 50 volt swing. Or, you know, in the center there with some losses. But we're not going to talk about any of those sort of things. We're just going to talk about the power supply for it. So what you need, you need a transformer. And you need a, a, a um, rectifier. You may or may not want to use, but I'd suggest you do, an X2 filter capacitor just for the, you know, picking up noise and stuff, help suppress all that, come in handy. And you're going to need some capacitors because we want a positive and negative power supply. So here is a little diagram that I put together. And in this, we will have our primary side of our transformer. On there, we're going to have a slow blow fuse and we're going to have a switch. We're going to have the output um, from that transformer, the secondary, coming into the AC side of our bridge rectifier. It may not look like this. And then we're going to have the positive side coming out of our bridge rectifier, the negative side coming out of our bridge rectifier, and our center tap from our transformer going through to the inside here part of the capacitors. Now I'm going to show you this on a natural thing. So where I say center tap, so here this is a 18 volt transformer, 18 volt AC. These two put together like this will be our center tap. So we will have positive, a virtual ground, which will be our negative. Well, our ground, we're gonna say ground, our zero point, and then our negative, yeah? But how do we know which transformer to use? Well, we can work it out like this. I'm gonna show you now. You might wanna jot this down. So if we have our transformer, let's say here we've got 18 volts and we can say, right, so we want to know what do we get out of an 18 volt transformer? Yep, it could be 12 volt, it could be whatever voltage you like, but for this instance, it's an 18 volt. So we're going to say 18 times 1.414. Now it doesn't matter about how you get these numbers or where they come from. And it's going to tell you straight away, look, down here, 25.452. That's the output you're going to get, 25 volts. But let's say it's the other way around. Let's say we don't have that, and we want to say, right, we want 25 volts. We know we want 25 volts on this, 25 volts, zero, and a you know, positive 25 volts, a zero, and a negative 25 volts. So we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to say, right, well, we want 25 volts, so we're going to say 25, and then we're going to times that, by 0 0.707 and as you can see there already before I even click the equals we got 17.675 volts now there isn't a 17.675 volt transformer unless you spent a lot of money to get one made specifically you just go straight for an 18 volt and that's what we've done here straight for this 18 volt so that's the maths behind it a little bit more math when you think about, okay, so we want to have a, um, a bridge rectifier, right? Because we need to turn this AC into DC. So we use a bridge rectifier, not going to go through how the bridge rectifier works, it's going to take too much time. But we what, what we want to do is make sure 
that we have a bridge rectifier that's big enough because we're going to have some inrush current. We're going to have inrush current because we're using the transformer. We're going to have inrush current because we're going to be using capacitors. And so we want to say to ourselves, all right then, so uh, ball, rule of thumb, let's make sure that we've got a, uh, a bridge rectifier that can handle, let's say, 12 times of what we want. So we're going to be pulling a couple of amps. We want a bridge rectifier that's going to be good for 25 amps. Let's just say 30 amp or 25 amp, that will do. And I'm going to show you a power supply now because this is how this would be set up. This is the X2 going across the inputs, uh, which would be this going across here, the inputs to the bridge rectifier, and then everything coming off the bridge rectifier would have these capacitors here. And then I'll show you on this what that can look like. So here we are, we got our AC input. This is going to be, let's say, positive, negative, and we got our uh, capacitor parallel in parallel with those we've got the two AC inputs here and this is for the um, the zero the center tap of the power supply I will just go in there like that and they will go through here and this is where our capacitors hook up as you can see there's a negative there going to the positive the positive is then connected to the negative and we've got the positive side there so this will be the positive out this will be the negative out and this one here will be the center tap, which will give us our zero. And that's it. That's how I've connected mine up. And this is what I will call my sort of semi-universal um, bridge rectifier come capacitor bank for the, doing these types of audio thing, because these are rated at 63 volts. Okay, and they're 330 microfarads. So five of these gives me about 15 millifarads. And you go any higher than that, and there's a law of diminished returns type thing kicks in. But that's you know that that's great if you're if you've got um, you know a power supply and you're pulling off heavy base, and it starts to try and it's going to want to try and pull your voltage down. At least you'll have some current in here to be able to make up for that pretty quick, so you shouldn't lose anything, and, and that's good. You may not need for this sort of thing at 25 watts. You may not need all these. You may just have a couple of these, but it's up to you. You build up your circuit like that and you end up with something like that. So you can just plug in, like I say, your positive and your negative will go in here, positive and negative. These two go in here and what you get out of here then is your DC. And we've done the math to show what DC you get out of here, which is just about 25 volts. Now you're going to lose one and a half volts because within your bridge rectifier you have four diodes and you're going to have two diodes working when you go high positive uh, from zero to positive on the sinusoidal wave and you're going to go down to negative and as you go down from zero to negative you've got the other two diodes working so you're switching between the two diodes um different video for then how it becomes dc um on the waveform but so you're going to take into account you've probably got a 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.7 loss of each diode and you've got to have one going out one returning so let's say one and a half volts. So you can have a little tiny bit of loss there, but on this, don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. So there you go. I mean, these building these unregulated power supplies are so simple. Now, some may say, well, why don't you use regulated then? Why don't you put 30 volts in or something and you've got your 25 volts out? Or 35 volts in and 25 volts out? Well, because when you start using regulators, you've got to remember that your regulator is only going to be for a certain amount of current. Right, this at the minute... It doesn't matter, you, you're going to be regulated by your transformer. So with this one at 18 volts, and we got, uh, what we got here, 3.3 amps per side, 0, 18, 3.3 amps, 0, 18, yeah, 3.3 amps. Uh, this is 120 VA. So this is good, yeah, this is uh, more than what's needed for this, but it makes no difference. This is only going to pull a certain amount, it can't pull more you put the voltage in and it's got that amount of swing you can have you can't pull any more really than that unless we're in some sort of fail, um, failed situation which is fair enough that's why you want to fuse and bits and pieces but that's that, that that's it that's as simple as it is my friends 
you want to make an unregulated unregulated power supply for these types of amplifiers this because it's 63 volts on here this means you can use up to 40 volts let's say giving yourself a 20 percent headroom right just give yourself 20 percent headroom on these things uh, as a rule of thumb and you'll do okay hope that's uh, helped out at least one or two of you and i shall talk to you in the next one we've got another amplifier to build and i'll catch you then bye bye for now